Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, Kat, how did your weekend go? Oh, my God. Nice weather. Um, so I did the 5K. And oh, did you? Yeah, yeah I did. that's right. I forgot <laughs> yeah, about I that. Yeah, I went down to the Prairie Creek State Park down in the, yeah. down in the Redwoods between Oric and Klamath and did some trail running. And uh, yeah. it was like half the course was uphill. Like, I mean, the first half was entirely uphill. And I was like, oh. I could not have done this a year ago. That, so that felt really good to yeah. go like, oh, yeah, I can do this without stopping. All right, yeah. cool, I, I think I do. can. I think I, yeah, I can. Yeah. I can hit yeah. the mud and the hills and stuff like that. It is not just like flat course where I can do a 5K. So I'm like, yeah, right. okay, cool. Right. So that felt really good. <laughs> was there a lot of turnout there? Did a lot of people Yeah, there? there was a ton of people there. We got a lot of runners around here. Yeah. Yep, yep. And well, and actually it was mostly people from California because it was based in California. But, right. you know. If you want to go to a good 5K, you kind of have to travel out for one, with right. like the exception of a couple of couple of events that happen here. But yeah, lots of cool folks and like beautiful run through the redwoods. And the fact yeah. that you did it is like awesome, you uh-huh. know. Like, I definitely yeah. like. I just kind of like when I got home, just collapsed. And <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I understand. Yeah, and yeah, spent yeah. the rest of the day like in a soak tub or in bed. So, yeah, very <laughs> you know, cool. But okay. you did it. That's great. That's I good stuff. I did it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew. But you see that one and you'd already signed up for it when we talked about it last week. Yeah. That's like, I figured, yeah, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. So every time I see one now, it's like, oh, I'll bet cat will be all over this. I know, know? right? Yeah. It's like, you know, injury is and like the... illness notwithstanding. If there's a 5K, I'm probably going to sign up for it if it's within driving distance. Is that the largest one you've done now is a 5K? Is that the Yeah. Longest? No, I haven't done like a 10K or anything like no, that. No, but I mean no. the 5K, have you done one before, the 5K? Oh, yes, I oh, have. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So, my yeah. fourth or fifth one. But, it's always the yeah. terrain, difference of the terrain, right? like, you know, running yeah. uphill, like you said, and on trails and stuff is like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that one, this one was a little bit more of an extreme course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dig it. Yeah, dig yeah. It. Right uh-huh. on. Yes, indeed. Good. That was the last wrap up weekend for Jason, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. They uh, finished uh, Tombstone. Okay, so That's he's like, bottom. my weekends are open again. So yeah. I'd actually like do something together. <laughs> yeah, for a little yeah, bit. That yeah. is until mm-hmm. the next production. Spend time yeah, exactly. for a little bit. Spend a few months at least, like actually having like date nights and stuff. That'd be kind of nice. So. Ah, there you go. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Get your lives back. That's it right mm-hmm. there. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We just hung out and was cool this weekend. It was great. I hung out with some friends over there and the kids. And Junior, they went and saw King Kong, the new movie, King okay. Kong and Godzilla there. So mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. Junior Did they was all like over that. It? Yeah, they, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Junior loved, oh, well, me and him watched all the King Kong Godzilla movies and everything like that. So uh-huh. I go, you go have some fun and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll catch it on the flip flop when it comes around, you know, yeah. get it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, just kind of a mellow weekend. Got delivered all the papers last week and uh, it was kind of like a, for me, we call it a relaxing weekend. I still had to do my manager duties and stuff. Sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, at the park, but it's like, yeah, yeah, it was a mellow one. I always get that. The delivery week is the, that's the, all I do is usually deliver and that's it, you know. Uh-huh. Then I get to get back into sales and uh-huh. writing articles and everything starts all over. The mad machine starts all over again. <laughs> And all the vendors, okay, we're getting ready for the events is coming. And boy, I'm dealing with vendor stuff now. It's crazy. So, yeah, busy, busy, still busy even when I'm relaxing. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But that's it. I had a good weekend. Hope everybody out there had a good weekend. And we got so much going on. It's crazy. Dude. I mean, you know, every month it's getting closer as it gets warmer. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the stuff starts happening. It just honestly seems like it, like these days it's, it doesn't matter whether it's winter or summer. There's always something going on. It's yeah, really you know, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Being in the position we're in, we get we used to go like, dang man, there is all kinds of stuff behind the scenes going on, you know, mm-hmm. and stuff. It's really cool. So, mm-hmm. hey, before we get telling you all about this good stuff here in April, we'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the Jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, you just go to KCIW.org and you will be on your way. All right, well, let's get going with a music schedule. Yeah, so we have some dates here for P.A. and T. Roy. On the 12th, they're playing at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. On the 18th, they'll be at Seaview Senior Living from 4.30 to 6. And then on the 19th, they're going to be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. Yeah, Cisco and Daltrey will be playing on the 18th at the Grange in Harbor, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then on the 13th, 20th, and 27th, there'll be a Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then Mike Powell is playing on the 12th and 13th at the Elk Valley Casino. Music there running from 6.30 to 9.30. 
And then on the 19th, he's going to be at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. That's right. Yep. The other half of the Double Dose Duo. And rehearsals, yes, folks, they are going good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Good, good to hear. Yeah, <laughs> we were coming together oh. with it. Man. Yeah. I are learning all my songs, and so am him. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing, no, it's going to be good. I can't wait to get out there playing again. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then Bloodline Band, uh, Mike Powell's other thing with his kids. On 27th, we got Oxen Free at 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Oh, wow. He is keeping busy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's got the music going on there. Hmm. And then the Italian guys are playing on the 11th, 12th, and 18th at Kuntai from 6 to 8. That Stephen Scruggs is actually drumming for the yeah, Bloodline now because his oh. one son had to got busy and couldn't mm-hmm. do it anymore. So yeah, yeah that's very yeah, cool. Yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah. his so, gigs, yeah, no, he's, they're sounding great with him. It's yeah, a, uh-huh. it's a small uh-huh. world, I tell you, mm. great. Hey, good old Long Goddard, he'll be playing on the seventeenth at Kuntai, six to eight. On the thirteenth, he'll be at the second Saturday Art Walk, Democratic headquarters, from three to six. And then on the 26th and 27th, he'll be at the Oak Valley Casino, 7 to 10. All right. And then at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, they've got a lineup here for April. Music starting at 6 o'clock on all these dates. On the 12th, it's going to be Black GTO. On the 13th, Becca McGalvidge. On the 19th, Comic Aussie. On the 20th, Lon Goddard. On the 26th, Black GTO, and on the 27th, The Ghost of Brian Craig. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is a funny Australian, Comic Aussie. <laughs> I love the name of it, though, Comic Aussie. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. there's, there's humor there. See? I know there's humor in yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, Elk Valley Casino the, at the Betty Green Center. The doors open at 7 p.m. On the 13th, they'll have country music artist Chad Bushnell at 8 p.m. On 420, there'll be Comedy Night with DJ Sandu featuring Josh Means at 8 and then on the 26th, you got Jeff Tate at 8 p.m. Warriors Bar and Grill music starts at 7. On the 12th, 13th, as we said, Mike Powell will be there. On the 19th and 20th, it'll be Steve Berg. And on the 26th and the 27th, Mr. Lon Goddard. All right. And then in Ateca, music there starting at 8 p.m. in Crescent City. On the 12th, it's going to be Black GTO. On the 13th, they've got a comedy night from 7 to 9. On the 19th, it's the Spence Bros Blues Band. On the 20th, Shiny Eyes. Analog synthesizer meditation with shadow puppet visuals, plus DJ sets by Sean Powers. With a mouthful. Yeah. And then on the 27th, AMS. See, I did that for you so I could remember what the heck it was. So that's what it is. It's analog synthesizer meditation with shadow puppet visuals. So mm-hmm. you tell me what that means. But yeah, I understood the DJ sets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the other part I'd never seen before. So that's got to be an experience. Mm-hmm. Hey, and Black GTO, as I said, they'll be playing on the 12th at Anateca, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on the 26th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, 8 to 10. And we got one last ad on here. Now, this is what it's all about. Shirley Hyatt, good friend. She swung this to me, Swing Time, that little group she's put together. They'll be playing on the 13th, Kuntai, at 6 to 8 p.m. And she just sent it to me yesterday. So I need a little sooner sometimes if y'all can, but I hand wrote it on this. But I just letting everybody out there know if you're playing somewhere, your band or you're a musician, you're playing somewhere and you didn't hear me talk about it right here, then all you got to do is send me the info to captaincurry 541 at gmail.com, just like Shirley did, and I will get it on the air for you. And hey, if you get it to me even sooner, like on the third week of each month, I'll get it in the paper for you as well. So there you go. There you go. All right, let's take a look at some events happening around the area, starting off with the April events for the Chuckco Library in Brookings. Ooh, you guys are busy. So, starting off with their weekly events on Mondays at 5.30 p.m., they have Pilates in Espanol with Amanda. This is a Pilates class for Spanish speakers. And then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they have Story Time. That features stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And at 1.30 on Tuesdays, they have a chair yoga class. And at 4 o'clock, they have a free tobacco cessation workshop that's led by All Care. This is a weekly workshop that's running through the 14th of May. And then on Thursdays at 2.45, they have their chair yoga class. And on Fridays at 4 o'clock, they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And then for special events all month long, you can enter their poetry book crafting competition. Starting April 1st, you can stop by the library and use the kits and crafting supplies at hand to create a simple folded book of poetry. You can take your book home to enjoy, or you can enter it in their competition for their best handcrafted poetry book. You're also welcome to take the kit home and work on it there and bring it back to enter the contest with supplies that you have at home. Either way, all entries must be received by April 29th. A panel of judges is going to pick the winners in the following categories on the 30th. Best Artistry, Best Poetry, 
Best Youth Book, that's for folks under 18. Best Adult Book for all people 18 and older. And of course, a Best in Show category. And winners in each category are going to receive, of course, a ribbon and a magnetic poetry kit. All entered poetry books will be on display at the library through the end of May. And then on the 10th of April at 4 o'clock, they have their Kids Book Club. This is a monthly book club for elementary and early middle grade children. Then on the 10th at 4 o'clock, they have Freshly Written Book Club, and this is a monthly book club geared toward adult fiction readers. On the 11th at 5 o'clock, they have Club de Lectora en Español. This is a monthly book club for adults who read and speak Spanish. Parents are welcome, and they're also invited to bring their children along. And then on the 13th at 2 o'clock, there is a new Roll for Reading book club. This is a new monthly book club for fans of the fantasy genre. And if you have any questions about programs and services at the Checo Library, a lot going on this month, you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. Or you can also check out their events calendar at checkolibrary.org. You guys are busy, busy, busy this month. You are month. best. Oh, my we goodness. Do our best. Yeah, got <laughs> something And there's for more every- to come, yeah. <laughs> got something to lose something for everybody. <laughs> no, and that's yes. not the half of it. <laughs> All right, and now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from primatologist and anthropologist Jane Goodall. She was born on April 3rd, 1934. She says, what you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. She says, we have the choice to use the gift of our life to make the world a better place or not to bother. Every individual matters. Every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. And the last but not least, it actually doesn't take much to be considered a difficult woman. That's why there are so many of us. (laughs) I love that for her. I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Jane Goodall with Cousin Bruce. Till next week. Have a great one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Keep it difficult, Jane. Keep it difficult. All right. You know, sometimes I look at these quotes that I'm giving, and I have to literally try to figure out which ones to pick. You know oh, what I mean? sure. Because, I mean, they've got so many, so many good, good quotes. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. People say the darndest things. They do. Yeah. Or did. Or did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Southwestern Oregon Community College is presenting an event called Odd Creatures in Our Tide Pools. This is on the 11th of April from noon to 1 p.m., Bill Gorham, a marine biologist who's lived and dived around the world from Alaska and Australia to Hawaii and the Virgin Islands, retired to Brookings with his wife Vicky in 2017. Bill's passion for the ocean started as a kid in Illinois. In this talk, he'll share stories and images from decades of diving, teaching, beachcombing, and tide pooling. Discover what you can find when you slow down and look closely at the things on the beach, whether they live in it or on it, traverse through it, or simply get washed up. Explore the weird animals and plants, both common and hidden, that find unique ways to make the intertidal home their home. Bill wants to motivate the audience to take care of the ocean and all its resources, whether that's from discarded trash, overfishing, marine heat waves, or acidification. And of course, he'll provide some words of wisdom for safe beach combing or tide pooling by reminding you about slippery rocks, rogue waves, mean crabs, spiny fish, and other surprises. This is a free program sponsored by the Friends of Curry Campus. It's going to be held in the community room at Southwestern's Curry Campus. That's at 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway, just off Highway 101 in Brookings. They say bring a friend and a brown bag lunch. For more information, you can contact the Curry Campus directly at 541 813 1667. Oh, yes, you've got to watch out for those mean crabs. <laughs> They're pinches. Mm-hmm. They'll yeah. get you, and it's not nice. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Exactly. You hear that noise? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Danaka presents Unit Suzu at the Betty Green Center at Elk Valley Casino on the 12th, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Through Taiko, Japanese folk dance, song, and personal story, performers guide the audience through a journey during this show. Tickets for sale, and they're available at DanakaEventbrite.com. For more information, you can call 707-464-1336. All right, and the Checo Pelican Players, located at 1240 Checo Avenue in Brookings, is presenting the worst high school play in the world, (laughs) a comedy farce by William Gleason. This is happening April 12th through 27th. It's going to be Friday and Saturday performances at 7.30 p.m., Sunday matinees at 2 p.m., and then a note for a special date here on the 27th. That's a Saturday. They're going to have two shows, 2 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Transport yourself to the dark and mysterious land of Saxonia in the year 1243 A.D. Feel the tension in the air as sorrow and fear grip the hearts of all who dwell there. 
Witness the courage of young Ivana as he navigates a world filled with love and revenge. Prepare yourself for an emotional roller coaster where laughter, tears, cheers, and gasps await you. Step back in time to an era where bravery reigned supreme and the unimaginable unfolded before your very eyes. Experience the chaos and beauty of the worst high school play in the world with us. Join them for a performance that will leave you spellbound, captivated, and utterly moved. $15 for adults, $7 for students. A small price to pay for the experience of a lifetime, they say. <laughs> for information and tickets, you can call 541-469-1857. I know that the name alone, the worst high school play in the world, you know it's going to be funny. I mean, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Exactly. Hey, Elk Valley Casino is presenting Chad Bushnell coming up on the 13th at 8 p.m. As we said earlier, Chad Bushnell's music is a blend of traditional country and modern rock. His roots date back to the past four generations, made of cowboys and singers. Mostly inspired as a child growing up singing in church, his Christian country roots run deep. Tickets are on sale and available online at www.etix.com or at the casino. And you must be 21 or older to uh, have some fun there. Yeah. All right. Hey, now it's time for a bit of Weird History with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Welcome to this week's Bit of Weird History for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know a woman functionally ran the executive branch for more than a year over a century ago? It's true. Here's the story. In August of 1914, President Woodrow Wilson lost his wife, Ellen. The following March, he was introduced to widow Edith Galt through a first cousin. As if in love at first sight, Wilson immediately began showering her with gifts and love notes, some of which probed for her opinion on presidential matters. Three months after their introduction, Wilson proposed, and the two were married December of 1915. Wilson won another term with his new wife and became his constant companion. She attended his meetings, was given access to classified materials, and even filtered his mail. Well, towards the end of World War I, she accompanied the president to Europe to attend the 1919 Paris Peace Conference. Well, shortly after the return, a stroke left President Wilson paralyzed and bedridden. Well, instead of encouraging her husband to resign and be replaced by the vice president, either took on a number of his duties herself, hiding the extent of his capacity from the public. From the time of his stroke to the end of his term in 1921, Edith Wilson was the only connection between the president and other officials. She was filtering all presidential matters and determining what was important enough to be brought to his bedside. Edith Wilson analyzed every message delivered to the president, barred all officials from bringing him business, and assisted him in completing any necessary task, and naturally influenced domestic and international policy in doing so. Though she did not make any crucial decisions, She was accused of running the country in Wilson's absence, an accusation that she insisted was incorrect up until her death in 1961, only proving the point that behind every great man is usually an even greater woman. (coughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's bit of weird history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Add of Edith. Add of yeah, that was yeah. Cool. yeah, I didn't know about that until I read that right there. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was a, an interesting role that she took on there. Yeah, she After did. She uh, had some health problems. And, you know, they tried to hide health problems a whole heck of a lot. Well, it was easier to hide health problems, well, too. And, yeah, Roosevelt, mm-hmm. you know, crippled and everything. They mm-hmm. they did all kinds of stuff on that one. I saw that. Yeah, there's several good movies so. on that one. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Different world back then. Yep. All right. Forecastle Books and Gallery is having a poetry reading featuring Reese Halter. This is going to be hosted by Michael Spring on the 16th of April at 5.45 p.m. And this is a spoken word open mic that's going to follow the featured reader. Yep. Hey, we got 420 events. You know, it's coming up Mm. here and this is Oregon after all. So there'll be several things going on like a Red Eye Hut and West Coast Organics and Top Shelf and places like that. They'll Mm. be giving raffles, prizes and giveaways and uh, yeah. Hmm. bands, you name it. It'll be going on all over town. So I just wanted to give a little 420 shout out there. So, hey, there is going to be stuff to be going on there. You know, you just travel around to your favorite dispensary. And you will <laughs> you'll, have find, fun. you'll find fun. fun. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. The Elk Valley Casino is presenting a comedy night at the casino with headliner DJ Sandhu featuring Josh Means. This is going to be on the 20th of April at 8 p.m. 
DJ Sandu is a stand-up comedian with a distinctive style that defies easy categorization. His material seamlessly transitions from incredibly liberal viewpoints to unexpectedly conservative takes on dating and relationships. His most iconic feature is the luxuriant beard that graces his face. Tickets are $10 in advance online or at the Points Club booth and $15 the day of the show. The doors are going to open at 7.30 p.m. The show starts at 8. You got to be 21 or older to attend. Seating is first come, first served. No reservations accepted. That's right. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Mm-hmm. A little funny, funny there. Mm-hmm. Hey, SWAC Lecture Series is presenting Expecting the Unexpected. This is an astro serendipity in the Cascadia Meteorite Lab. Southwestern Oregon Community College is excited to present a lecture by Dr. Alec Ruzica, director of the Cascadia Meteorite Laboratory and professor of geology at Portland State University, who will discuss the Cascadia Meteorite Laboratory. She'll explain it all what it is. The public is invited to attend on Thursday, April 25th at 6 p.m. This is a free event. All ages are welcome. Curry County residents can join them for a watch party at the community room on the Curry Campus, 96082 Lone Ranch Parkway in Brookings. And what the lecture is about is the Cascadia Meteorite Laboratory at Portland State University started in 2003 and now hosts one of the largest public collections of meteorites in the United States. So you can join CML Director and Professor Alex Rizika as he reviews the start and growth of the lab, its goals, and the techniques used for specimen analysis. The talk will focus on serendipity discoveries made by students and lab personnel. Hey, for more information about this lecture, you can contact Dr. Aaron Coiner, he's the Associate Professor of Physics at 541-888-7244, or you can email him at Aaron, that's two A's, dot Coiner at S-O-C-C dot E-D-U. So there you go. Interesting. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's out there. I love when they do their lecture series. That's yep. really cool. I get the stuff. Mm-hmm. I get the mm-hmm. info all the time. So mm-hmm. uh, that's why we get them. Neat. All right. And then the Elk Valley Casino is going to be presenting Jeff Tate's Big Rock Show Hits. This is going to be on the 26th of April at 8 o'clock. Singer songwriter Jeff Tate is best known for his 30 plus years as the creative and driving force behind the progressive metal band Queensryche. Jeff is looking forward to bringing his Big Rock Show Hits tour to the music masses. Among the selections will be such songs as Silent Lucidity, Jet City Woman, Eyes of a Stranger, Another Rainy Night Without You, Empire, I Don't Believe in Love, Walk in the Shadows, and a few surprises. Tickets are currently on sale now. The doors will open at 7 o'clock. The show starts at 8. And hey, you got to be 21 or older to attend. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Comedy Night with Alex Elkin featuring Lauren Rachel at the Talawa Event Center. This is happening on the 27th, 8 p.m. The doors open at 7. Feature act Lauren Rachel opens for headliner Alex Elkin. You'll never see the same show twice. Tickets are on sale at www.eventbrite.com or at the door. And it's a a casino. Yes, you got to be 21 years or older to attend. And then the Curry Public Library, located in Gold Beach, is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry meets the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 to noon at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for this program, you can email memorycafe at cplib.net or you can call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory Cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others who are in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, as well as library staff and volunteers. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, we got one more here. Uh, I'm going to go with the KCIW Soapbox Series. I hope that's been going on good. Uh, KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called KCIW Soapbox. How appropriate. Mm -hmm. Hey, basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules. Of course, no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, hey, come on and share what's on your mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record. Mm -hmm. Good times right there. And I think we've got time for one more here, another PSA. Meals on Wheels is looking for volunteers. They are in need of volunteer drivers. This program delivers about 75 hot meals daily to people who can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. 
They have two routes, a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a great opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community, be a friendly face, and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Whether you're interested in doing this just for a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. And to get involved, you can contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. It's a great cause, guys. Get out there and volunteer. And it's an ongoing need. Always. Ongoing always. need, yeah. You won't be turned down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Help and hunger in our community. Mm, <laughs> absolutely. Good stuff. And we like to support it. Hey, uh, it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, KCIW.org. And while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are keeping it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll see you out there. there. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.